when I ask you questions, <laughs> please be true to yourself and honest. <laughs> Everyone can participate. So the ones who get the most answer will be awarded with a special gift. So the first question is, where is the headquarter of United Nations World Tourism Organization? Anyone? Raise your hand. Yeah, yeah. I won't say the answer now. <laughs> I'll give some time more. Geneva. Geneva. All right. For this who's I'll tell you the answer. It's in Madrid, Spain. So no one got it. So it's a new point for everyone. The next question is, what is the official currency of Turkey? Lira. Yeah. All right. Round of applause for our assistant director. <laughs> Next, which country has the most UNESCO World Heritage Site? The country with the most World Heritage Site. All right. One point to our madam. Italy. Italy has 55 sites, World Heritage Sites. 55. As of 2023. Name any two countries with the strongest passport in the world. USA? Singapore. Japan. Oh, Korea. <laughs> correct. Singapore, Korea. That is a correct answer for lot of president. Okay, the next question is. The world's largest city in terms of geographical area. Largest city in terms of geographical area. Singapore, Tokyo. Any more? In terms of geographical area, not by population. Is it Moscow? Okay. Uh, Tokyo was. Largest uh, is the largest in terms of population, but in terms of geographical area, it's New York City. <laughs> Name any two most visited country in the world. Two most visited country. Can anyone? Okay, two. Yes. Correct. But Spain is number two and US is number three. The number one is France. Half star? <laughs> yeah. Still then, that was a good answer. So let's fly to some city now. Can anyone name the airline code of Mumbai? Airline code. Because airline gives their own code. You mean alphabet? Yeah, yeah. M U M. M U M. M U M. What's that? Yes, you're saying something. B O M. Correct, B O M. <laughs> so the next question is, which is the most popular online shopping site in the world? Amazon. All right. Another one. Or <laughs> 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 Must be a heavy shopper. GF Bezos friends. Okay, so next is which country is most dependent on tourism? Thailand. <laughs> no. Maldives. Correct. Alright. <laughs> okay, so the next question is. Which is the least visited country in the world? Least visited. No, no, no. Antarctica. <laughs> no. There is a country which is not very known to all of us. You want me to tell the answer now? Yes. So it's Tuvalu. Oh. Tuvalu. It's the least visited country in the world. Okay, so next. Which is the only carbon negative country in the world? Bhutan. Bhutan. Correct. <laughs> One word. Not oppressive. 
<laughs> which okay the next let's come back to northeast which northeastern state is referred to as a board of club correct okay then can anyone say that state hornbill of arunachal pradesh State, uh, sorry. <laughs> that was Hornbill. State, but I should say, but I said Hornbill. Let's keep that. <laughs> okay, then, which is also known as the Green District in Nagaland? Kunuma. Green District. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll end the question here. The answer is Peren. Peren is also known as the Green District. <laughs> which okay then which is the tallest waterfall in India? Tallest waterfall. No Kalika Falls. <laughs> okay, so the answer is Kunchikal Falls in Karnataka. It is the highest waterfall. Any idea what is the height? 1400 something around i'm not sure about the feet but it was around 1400 which country has the most time zone usa australia russia russia no <laughs> canada france would say france Yes, France has the most time zone because they have more small islands. Not because of the size, but they have more small islands here and there, so they have the most time zone. In the year 2024, this year, which state in India is most visited by foreigners as of this year? You mean? Yeah, yeah. Kerala. Delhi. Delhi. It's South India. Bangalore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the state is Tamil Nadu. Oh. 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 Okay, so which is the tourism take line of India? Tourism take line. Incredible right. India. Okay, so what is the tourism take line of Japan then? Anyone? Tourism take line of Japan? It's something to do with discovery. The take line. Discover Japan. No. <laughs> it is endless discovery. So the next question, where is the world largest hotel in terms of room located? World largest hotel in terms of numbers of room. You can just guess the country. UAE? No. Vietnam? No. So it's Puhang Hotel in Malaysia. It is the world largest in terms of the number of rooms. How many rooms? That hotel? I'm not sure. <laughs> I have to contact the staff. <laughs> Someone from that very hotel. Is there a sax <laughs> So now, okay, there is just last three questions. So the winner will be decided from that. So which is the most expensive adventure sport in the world? Most expensive adventure uh, sport. Desert safari? No. Skydiving? No. Paradise? 
Do you want me to give the answer? <laughs> it is mountaineering expedition. It is the most expensive adventure sports. But I think the restoration is also up and up. So then it's just very expensive. More expensive than any bush. Okay, then a very simple question. Which country has the most number of pyramids? Egypt. Mexico. No. What's near Egypt? <laughs> <laughs> It's nearby somewhere around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number of pyramids, most number of pyramids. The answer is Sudan. We have over 200 pyramids. Last question, which country has the highest number of legs in the world? Russia. Canada. Canada would say that. Yes, <laughs> correct. That is the correct answer. In fact, the number of legs in Canada itself holds around 60% of the world total in terms of legs. So thank you all so much for participating. So now, who has got the highest number? Uh, Five and four. Five and four. So we have two very exciting games. Very lucky. I request uh, our joint uh, deputy director, Sir Papa, to kindly come and hand over this name. <laughs> So first, to our NATO president, <laughs> Now I call upon my Milita to receive the team. So thank you all so much for participating and have a good day.